shouldn't have pulled that gun. Yeah. You can't turn me over to your father if you're dead. You kill me, my father will hunt you down like an animal. There'll be nowhere to hide. I'll be protected. By who, Theo Hoffman? Then worked too well for Sean Butler, now did it. Look, Sonny Corinthos is a man of his word. You put the gun down, I'll call him. You tell him everything you know about Theo Hoffman, and you'll be golden. Turn him, Theo, I'll be dead. Please, drop the gun. Back off, or he's dead. No one's killing anyone tonight. All right? So just drop the gun. Nice and easy. You know my father, Sonny Corinthos. You tell him everything about Theo and you'll be protected. Shut up. Okay. You don't want to hurt this kid. Okay? I promise you, you'll be dead by morning. So drop the gun. Let's end this now. Sean Butler this morning in the hospital. Are you freaking kidding me right what's, now? What's wrong with you? Michael, you almost got yourself killed. Don't ever do anything like this again, okay? Just take a minute of interrogation. I'll be there in a minute. And you, sit there. I'll be with you in a minute. I don't know any Balkan. The only Brenda I know is my cousin's uh, ex-wife. All right, that's great. Then why don't we talk about uh, my brother, the kid you almost uh, killed him. Kid out there is your brother? Yeah. Does that make Sonny Corinthos is your father, too? Uh, is that? that makes you some kind of genius, then, doesn't it? I always heard Sonny Corinthos was on his police department, but this Okay, is... listen, you pulled a gun on the wrong kid, and it is going to cost you. What are you even thinking going after a guy like that by yourself? What's up? You can help us find Brenda. Michael, you can't chase down suspects on your own. Look, I didn't want to waste your time until I had something solid. This guy, this guy almost kills you tonight. Yeah, and I got the gun away from him. Now we have a charge to hold what, what, what are you talking about? What is this? What are you getting so mad about? You should be thanking me. Because right you now. almost got yourself killed tonight, Michael. You're not bulletproof. You understand? Yes, me? I'm aware of that. Okay, then why'd you take the guy's gun? I know what I'm doing, Dante. No, no, you don't, Michael. You're on parole. Any cop of me sees you with a gun on that guy, you're fighting him. You're back in Pentonville tonight. You do not want that. I did what needed to be done. Well, I don't, I don't know. Are you trying to impress Sonny or something by being the one who finds Brenda? No, I want to find Brenda because she's in danger and needs help. Okay, Michael, you can't go after someone just because Molly might recognize him. But yeah, Molly exaggerates sometimes, yes, but I want to make sure if he was a threat or not. You got to stay out of this, Michael. You are not a cop. Okay, that's not a threat in your face or anything, but I've known Dad a lot longer than you have, and I am sure in exchange for giving up Theo, he would have protected that guy because the guy would have been dead if he didn't talk. Y you, don't, you don't see the problem with that? You never caught that guy if I didn't track him down. I actually thought you'd be proud of me right now. I am proud of you, Michael. You're smart, you're tough, you got a great future ahead of you. But if you keep this up, you're not gonna live to see it. What if I hadn't shown up when I did? I would've done the exact same thing. I would've jumped the guy, got his gun, called Dad or Jason, maybe even you. Yeah, you're really calm about all this. Would you be happier if I was flipping out? No, I'd be happier if you stayed the hell out of it. It's too late for that, Dante. I was right in the middle of everything when Dad was trying to get Sean to talk, and I wish Morgan didn't see any of it. You know, that, that's when it became clear to me again. I've made some terrible mistakes, okay, and I wish I could take them back, but I can't. But the point is, Sonny and I are on opposite sides of the law, and no one wants you on Sonny's side, especially Sonny. This probably isn't the best time for a philosophical debate. Michael, you were paroled into my custody. That means any trouble you get into is on me. Okay, and if you die, that's on me, too. No one can afford to lose you. Your family loves you too much. That's why I'm angry. That's on. That's why I'm on your case. Do you understand? Yeah. So you promise me you're gonna stay out of this? I try not to make promises I can't keep. Feeling Mike will go so to you. Got feels good? Look, we don't know yet, okay? Let him go. Let him go. Just let him go. Why? So you can beat him until he talks or kill him if he doesn't? If he's working for Theo, that means he knows something. We're wasting too much time. So find a way to let him go. 
Sonny, he pulled a gun on Michael. I got him on assault with a deadly weapon. I have to question him. Do not protect the man who pulled a gun on your brother. Brenda could be out there dead. Stop being the good cop for once and let me do what I do. You know what? I am a good cop, and I'm not going to apologize for it, and that's not going to change. But maybe there is a way we can help each other. Doctor. Good news, you're getting out of here. Yeah, you had nothing from the start. Well, actually, I had you on assault with a deadly weapon, but someone's paid your bail. You see that guy out there? You know him? Sonny Corinthos. I've never seen him in person. Anyway, he's pretty pissed off about you threatening his son. He's also pretty angry that his wife was kidnapped on the wedding day, no less, but he's graciously agreed to secure your release. I guess he's a generous guy that way. Yeah, well, I'm not going out there. I won't make it past the parking lot. And when I was the problem? You said you didn't know anything about Theo Hoffman. You didn't, you didn't know where Brenda Barrett was, so you have nothing to worry about. No, I'm refusing bail. You can take that up with Mr. Corinthos. You the guy who pulled the gun on my, on my son? Yeah, he is. Maybe I should leave you two alone. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be great.